Hi, I'm Jared with Fun Science Demos. It's winter here, and in the winter, the air is dry. And because of that dry air, static electricity pops up in some of the strangest places. You might have noticed little sparks jumping off your toes under your covers as you slide into bed. Or maybe when you pull a sweatshirt on over your head, your hair sticking up. Maybe even taking a look at something simple like a jar of sprinkles, we can find static electricity. Let's zoom in and take a closer look. You can see we have some sprinkles at the bottom. Give it a little shake. Now watch what happens to the sprinkles when I flip the jar upside down. You can see some of them are still attached to the top or hanging out at the top. So what's keeping them there? It's static electricity. Now to show you static electricity in action, we have two very simple demonstrations. First, we're gonna put some water into a tray. Just a thin layer is all we need. And then we're gonna use a styrofoam cup. We could put it that way. We could put it that way. They're moving around. Did you see what just happened there? The cups went together. What attracted the two cups together? Static electricity. But we're gonna see if we can move those cups. So I have a plastic pipe. I have a piece of wool or fleece. I'm gonna charge this pipe up by rubbing this. If you listen carefully, you might actually hear the static electricity. And now, I'm going to see if we can get these cups to move. Let's charge our plastic pipe, rubbing the wool. You can actually hear the static electricity. And now let's see what happens. You can see I can move this cup. Well, I'm not moving it. The static electricity is moving the cup all over the water. Pretty cool. Static electricity can move cups, but it can also move bubbles. We're gonna try and make some bubbles ice skate across this simple little whiteboard. To do that, I ran some tape just to contain the bubble solution, and I did put food coloring in the bubble solution to make it easier to see. If I was doing this in the classroom or at home, I wouldn't add food coloring. Here we go. We're gonna just pour a little bit out, work it around with my hand to the edges to create my little skating rink. This is, allow, this is gonna allow my bubbles to move all across the surface. And I think I'm ready. Now all I need is a straw. Now it's time to blow a bubble. To do that, I'm gonna dip the straw into the solution to load it up. We'll try and blow a bubble here. We got our bubble. Now it's time to try and make it skate around. Let's charge our pipe and get the bubble to move. And you can see that bubble skate across the rink. So now we're zoomed in, let's try this again. You can see the bubble getting drawn toward the pipe because of static electricity. So what made that cup and those bubbles move? Well, it was static electricity. As I rubbed this plastic pipe with the wool, it became negatively charged. And that cup and the water in those bubbles were slightly positively charged. So as I brought the two together, those two opposite charges attracted. You can even watch these sprinkles move as I take the charged pipe and put it next to the sprinkles. We've zoomed in, watch what happens. You can see the sprinkles are reacting to the charge. Believe it or not, there's even a charge in my hand. Watch what happens with the sprinkles when I touch the container. A couple of them were repelled. We can also use static electricity to bring our artwork to life. Here I use tissue paper to make a butterfly and I use streamer paper to make an octopus. Now watch what happens when I charge my plastic pipe and bring it close to my artwork. We're gonna try and make this butterfly fly. Charge it up. And here we go. My butterfly is flapping away. All because of static electricity. Now let's see if we can make the octopus wiggle. Charge up the tube. There we go, he's reaching out with his tentacles. The best part is you can use your imagination to create lots of different things that can be moved by static electricity. Here I made a bat out of tissue paper, or maybe it's tapping into a movie, Monsters, Inc. Maybe I wanna, around Halloween, make somebody turn into a werewolf, or even research scientists from the past and see if I could bring their spirits to life. The ghost of Von Humboldt.
Your creativity doesn't have to stop there. You can try using different materials, pulling apart a tissue, using toilet paper, plastic bags. The possibilities are endless. If you want to learn more about static electricity or just electricity in general, check out our YouTube channel, Fun Science Demos. And don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. Science is so cool. Thanks for watching. <music>